Hello there, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. So this is your June 2024 prediction, everyone. And today I'm going to do something a little bit differently than what I've done previously in my monthly predictions, okay? So I've added two more decks to the mix here. So I'm going to start today with an oracle card and opening message through the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. I'm going to then pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a spirit animal oracle card and then a blocked energy card. So what is it that's blocking you and how can you release it? I'm also going to pull two personal messages for you. Now, I might not understand these, so I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you. And we're gonna close off with an angel number, okay? So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Gemini, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to know this month of June. So we are getting for you today. Remember who you are. Look at this. Remember who you are, Gemini. I don't know if any of you are seeing a unicorn, perhaps a white horse. This is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're going to see one this month of June. The message for you is you carry stardust in your bones, your ancestors' wisdom in your blood, and the whole universe in your soul. Know yourself and nothing will bring you down. So again, you carry stardust in your bones, your ancestors' wisdom in your blood, and the whole universe in your soul. Know yourself and nothing will bring you down. So look at that. What a beautiful message for us today. I'm also a Gemini sun and rising. So I love this message. I don't know if any of you are seeing these beautiful pink flowers. Perhaps you have a garden that has some pink flowers. Even lavender is what I'm seeing in this card. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So the Ace of Cups. So there's an experience coming up in your life, the month of June, where your heart, your cup is going to be overflowing. This is, in a sense, creating a new beginning, a new feeling for you. There's a lot of connection that is coming in as well. So the Ace of Cups to start, we have the Page of Cups. So look at this. This is where you take that energy of that full cup and you carry it forward. So what I'm getting here is connections to people, but almost like this connection to source, to spirit. This is a spiritual journey that some of you are embarking on, and this is also a newer level of spirituality for some of you. I do feel that anytime I get the pages, there is news or message that is coming in, but also something that you're learning through this experience, okay? So the Page of Cups, I also want you to use your own intuition with my readings, Gemini. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. We have the Hermit card. So this is where you look inward. There's this um, um, unboxing that is happening with this energy. There's also this slowing down, really getting to know yourself a little bit better. But this place of solitude, this place of quiet and calm. Okay, so either you are cultivating this in your own life or you're already experiencing this. So those of you that are in a place of loneliness right now, Spirit wants you to take um, advantage of this loneliness to really get to know yourself a little bit better. Okay, and there's this almost like this exp exploration that is also coming through this. Now, this is a major arcana card, so this energy is prominent. However, it's in the background, so some of you might not be feeling this intensely, and others subtly, okay? So before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Gemini. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So Spirit Guides are showing me my own stone. I have a black onyx. 
Uh, I don't know if any of you have a black onyx, but it might be a good idea to get one. There's a lot of energy that comes through this and there's a reason why I'm seeing this in my mind right now for you, Gemini. Now the Ace of Cups, we've got this beautiful water flowy energy coming in. So I do feel there's an ener energetic flow that has come into your life. It's steady, it feels really nice. Some of you are already feeling peace and calm, tranquility. Perhaps you're implementing things in your day-to-day -day life which is incorporating this piece, like cultivating this piece, sorry. And what's happening is you're starting to see and notice this piece, this energy of calm, this energy of just goodness. Like it just feels really good. Everything just feels like everything's flowing. Even though things feel like they're going to be busy, when you actually enter that space where you think it's going to be busy, it ends up flowing really nicely. So for example, if you have people coming over, um, or you're doing something with other people, it feels like it's going to be frantic and crazy. But once you experience it, at the end of it, you're kind of like, you know what, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I've got this coming through me right now for you. Um, I'm also getting um, your energy expanding, your energy touching other people. So this water that is coming from you, um, that is spreading outwardly. And I feel that people are really enjoying the water touching their feet like I'm just seeing it spreading and I'm seeing other people's feet and it's your energy that is touching other people's lives so I feel some of you are uh, wanting to help others you're wanting to either teach inspire or help others um, in some way whether these are humans animals whatever this is right um, you have this desire to do something much greater and I recently put a post on my community page asking us if money wasn't an issue what would we do professionally i feel you're lining up with this whatever it is that you're desiring to do that brings you joy and happiness you're wanting to do it but you're implementing things that are actually going to um, align you to that place so um, adding little bits and pieces of this joy and excitement is actually spreading it out even further and you know whether other people are watching you or you're inspiring others to also take action this is what I'm getting for you. So this month of June is going to be a really good time for you, Gemini, to really connect with people, to gain wisdom and knowledge, understanding through connecting with others, their stories, your own stories. So there's an exchanging of energies here, which is maybe why everything is expanding, because not only is it exchanging from you, but now that exchange goes somewhere else and yours goes here and it just keeps on doing that. So some words being exchanged here, uplifting, positive affirmations, prayers, um, you know, any kind of sacred practice that you can implement in your day to day life that is going to bring you to a higher frequency, a higher vibration. This is going to open a door for you. And I'm seeing a gold medallion here. I don't know what this gold medallion is or something that looks like a gold disc. Um, I'm seeing it as a coin in my hand, in my mind right now, but I'm also seeing it as a bigger version of itself. Um, it just says medallion on it. I don't know what that means, but it's very gold and it's very shiny, like it's brand new. So maybe you're a gold coin collector. Maybe this is your sign today or a confirmation for you, or perhaps you're going to receive something that is a token of something. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's coming in as a gold coin is what they're showing me. That could be a seed of opportunity for you to really grow and expand in your life. So something that you're passionate about is also sparking for you this month. Okay, so you want to follow that passion, you want to follow that spark, however that shows up, I do feel it's going to come in through a connection, connection to spirit. So again, this connection for you is very profound. And I do feel it is a spiritual connection. This is to your higher self, right? We've got a unicorn usually means something magical, something higher divine that is coming in for us. So if you take a look at this unicorn's uh, horn, it's sparked. So there's something sparking within you. You are unique, Gemini, those of you that are watching today. I do feel that you're here for something. You might not know what it is yet, but there's something much bigger that you're here for, okay? And you're going to find that out if you don't already know what that is. And I do feel spirit is nudging some of you, right? Where this is starting to spark, or the spark is actually 
wanting you to take action like you have this urge you have this like need or this calling to follow something and it has to do with your heart so I feel that you're pulling your heart out now and you're using it as a guide so the things that create excitement and joy and love for you to you like the things that you enjoy doing you need to add more of that because that is your path it's like spirit is leaving you easter eggs um through your heart from your heart your heart is like kind of it's, it's so funny how they're showing this to me i'm seeing a heart kind of sniffing things out it's not real hearts can't sniff but this is what they're showing me is a heart sniffing things out it's like easter eggs left and it's like following um, and it's, you know, the, you, you enjoy music and you're invited to some sort of music event and you go and attend and you connect with somebody there. You meet somebody new, which leads you to a new experience, a new opportunity. It's because you enjoy dancing. Perhaps you're a DJ and you find somebody and you get a deal or you get an opportunity. Or if you're somebody that is a writer um, and, you know, um, you have this opportunity because you were invited somewhere you know, there's little, little synchronicities that are happening. So many different scenarios in which this can come in for you. And I feel you're going to learn something. There's like a beginner energy with this. So news or messages coming in, whether it's uh, through an intuitive download. So I've been experiencing a lot of intuitive downloads. Spirit has asking me to kind of shift a little bit energetically as well. I feel this is an ascension. This is a higher frequency, a higher vibration. So I do feel some of you Geminis out there out there are also feeling this. This energy, you have already stepped up to that higher frequency, higher vibration. So you're already there. This is exploration. This is curiosity around this new energy. So what I'm getting for some of you is information that has come in. However, it has come in for you. Conversation, internet, intuitive download, dream, whatever this was, it's opened you up to something new. So there's an expansion happening, but there's also some training happening. Okay, so sometimes training is through challenges that you face as you move up to this higher level. And these are challenges that perhaps you haven't faced before. And it's not to scare you. These challenges aren't to scare you. These are there because you're meant to grow. You're meant to learn and apply some of your superpowers, okay? So you're, you've entered a training field of newer energy. Some of you are going to be really good at this because this isn't your first time here. Some of you have been back to earth many different times. Others, you are newbies on earth. And this is what I'm getting here. So the other thing I'm picking up here is um, energy that looks dark. It looks like a black cloud and you can see it from the side of your eye. I don't know what this is, but I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing it by the side of my camera screen. So um, I don't know if any of you have been seeing any kind of dark images or things from the side of your eye I do feel that um, we have light we have dark energies around us and perhaps you're meant to actually strengthen your lighter energy right because we're, we're surrounded by light and dark um, and maybe there's darker energies around you at this time but this is where you're leveling up okay so I don't this could mean something completely different so again I want you to use your own intuition because whatever you're seeing, it is in your life experience, not in mine, right? So your perspective is going to be different than mine. And the other thing is, speaking of your perception, how are you choosing to experience what you're going through? Are you choosing to allow things to affect you in a negative way or you're allowing them to pass and you remaining in alignment with your dreams, with your desires, with your wishes, right? So they're wanting you to focus on practicing gratitude along this new journey, okay? We also have the Hermit card. So this is need for introspection. There's a need to look inward. I feel that there is a, like, um, this unboxing of things. It's like someone has gone into themselves, which to me looks like an attic right now, like someone's attic. Um, but it's internal attic. And you're kind of going through some of those boxes. So some of you might be moving and you're going through some boxes where you have some memories, something from your past that you're looking at, someone from your past that you're looking at, conversation around this unboxing of stuff. Now, this could be shadows. This could be parts of yourself. These could be some of your egos. But I do see some of you in a quiet space uh, working on yourself, kind of going through some things. Um, and this is this can be heavy at times, right? So allow yourself healing 
as you're going through this, but also release and let go and not hold on to things. Um, it's funny because now that I'm talking about this, I actually found some old photos of my daughters in this cubby I had. So before we moved into this house that I live in, um, I had boxed everything and there's a box in my pantry um, that I just opened two days ago and I found some old pictures of my daughters from years and years ago. So I was able to put those up uh, in my home. So this is kind of the energy I'm picking up that perhaps there's something you found that belonged to you from a long time ago in this space. Now, spirit is also wanting you to cultivate some inner peace, some um, quietude in your life. Take time to rest, unwind, to think things through, especially if you're feeling like you're overwhelmed. Um, taking time in your day for even like a five minute meditation, a five minute to get outside and just breathe some fresh air. Um, because spirit is really trying to communicate and connect with you, but it, it needs to happen in a way where you're not overwhelmed with things, okay? So making room and space for spirit to connect with you in your busy uh, days here in um, June. So remember, there's a new beginning, a newer energy. So this can show up as a new job. This can show up as a new relationship, a new passion, a new business, a new opportunity, whatever this is. But remember, we have to slow down a little bit, take breaks. Um, I'm also getting some of you. So this is a really interesting energy that's coming through. I'm getting someone dreaming of another person that is passed on. And I feel like you have pulled this person into your dream. It's like you wanted this person, like you wanted the communication. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen uh, a psychic, a tarot reader, ask questions. I'm getting like a pendulum swinging back and forth. I'm seeing someone visiting you at night while you're sleeping and there's a pendulum. I don't know what this is. They're just showing me this visual of someone sleeping in a bed and there's someone standing there with a pendulum. Um, but I, I feel this back and forth. Like there's almost like your life is moving back and forth. What is this? It's really interesting. And it's, it, it, but as this person is swinging this, this is in your mind that's going like this. So I feel this is in your dreams. You can interpret this however you like, uh, Gemini, but I'm seeing something going back and forth. I don't know if this is you thinking something, maybe you're going back and forth with um, something new or maybe an understanding or questions or I don't know what this is, but there's this back and forth and I'm getting some of you moving into one timeline and then going back to another, going back here and going back to another. So there's like this morphing energy that is going back and forth. What is this? Are you doubting yourself at all? Or are there, is there anything sitting within yourself that you need to work on more here, Gemini? Because I feel that you're able to tap into the energetic field that you want to be in, but you get pulled out for whatever reason. So this could be due to fears or things that are limiting you or restricting you. And I feel this is something internally that's a little bit more deep seated. This is why you're getting the hermit card. So there's some things that you really need to work on in yourselves to release and then walk out. You're meant to actually walk out, like you're meant to get up and walk out and move into um, this expansive space, which I'm looking at is a, a forest, like tree, greens, jungle. Um, it looks like Hawaii to me, like it looks like the place that I stayed at, like a lot of trees, a lot of palm trees, coconuts, animal sounds. So maybe you're meant to go to a retreat in the woods or perhaps you're meant to connect with nature in this quiet space. Um, I'm seeing someone walking through with a dog. Like, I don't know if you go into trails and walk your dog or you go for walks, um, but there's a connection happening there for you. So perhaps you're meant to go out and connect through nature in some way here. So I do feel that June has so many opportunities and you're being activated in a sense here. There's this activation that is happening that is tying you in to that. Uh, it's like they're saying you are a unicorn. You are special. You are unique. Gemini. Okay. You're a special. Um, there's, there's very few of us out there is what they're saying. Okay. So, um, you know, who you, who you are as you're watching this reading. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a spirit animal Oracle card. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It comes with an Oracle message, a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you. So those of you that are seeing animals or insects anywhere in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. I'm getting groundhog spirit time to let go. 
look at that. It's time for you to let go. If you've been seeing a groundhog, this is your confirmation today. We have the number 31. I don't know if any of you have seen Groundhog Day. That's like the guy that's stuck in a loop. This could be that back and forth energy where you're stuck in that loop of going back and forth. So it's holding a little heart. That is so cute. So the number 31, um, this could be a number of significance. Perhaps you're 31 years old as you're watching this reading. Threes and ones, perhaps you're a life path one or three, or you're born on these numbers. Um, three to one days, three to one weeks, three to one, one month, and three to one hours, but also on the 31st of the month I'm getting here. And that's coming in very strongly. The 31st of the month okay so that's interesting um it might not be june it might be another month uh through this year here so oracle message for you is endings lead to beginnings and death is a part of life so ground groundhog spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you we love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur. So that might be that pendulum, that back and forth where you need to let go so you can move forward. When Groundhog Spirit appears, it's a sign that there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of so that something new can be born, something that will far better serve you now. When the groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too, might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good. So let go of your resistance here, Gemini. Spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. So say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. So it's already coming if it already, had, or if it already hasn't shown up. Now the protection message for you today is, have you, been re have you been relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime and needs to die away? A situation, a relationship, a belief, or a habit that served you once but no longer fills you with vitality. Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on the familiar. Groundhog Spirit has appeared to let you know it's time to accept that the past is the past, so allow yourself to feel the loss and grieve it if you need to. Any sadness will not last forever or overwhelm you. Knowing Spirit is with you and wants you to experience joy and excitement again will help you through this transition from the old to the new. Keep your eyes open for winter always gives way to spring and endings always, re always birth to beginnings. For now, let yourself feel your emotions, releasing them to make way for that joy that awaits you. Spring and new growth are on their way, for that is Spirit's promise to you, Gemini. So look at that. What a beautiful message for you today. So gra Groundhog Spirit, I want to say Grand. What is Grand? Grande. Grande uh, Latte. I don't know. So we're going to pull a blocked energy card for you. So those of you that are watching, if you're wondering what is blocking you and how to clear it, we're going to find that out. We are getting ancestral money blocks. Look at this. Ancestral money blocks. So there's false beliefs about money passed down from your ancestors. So what is your belief around money, Gemini? Live your own story is how you unclear this energy, how you clear this energy, sorry. In order to understand how these ancestral money blocks were passed down, look at your patterns and programs and things you've picked up from parental programming. So were you taught that money was bad or hard to come by? Did you see your parents struggle with money? Maybe you have that deep-seated belief uh, in you where, you know, this is why you have the hermit cards now, time to go in and check out some of the seeds that are planted in you and maybe um, change those beliefs. Okay, this is how you clear this block. Again, live your own story. Create your own beliefs. Money is only energy. It's positive energy. It follows your excitement and your joy. Okay, so I'm going to pull two personal message for, messages for you as well. I'm sorry, my speaking is now starting to go. This happens when I'm channeling energy. So... Um, I'm going to pull two messages for you today. So what I want you to do is place them where they resonate for you because I might not understand them. Okay, so let's get two cards for you. 
Continue to make the most of every open door. Continue to make the most of every open door. Look at that. This is an open door for you, this Ace of Cups, okay? So there's a door that is open and make the most of it, Gemini. I don't know if any of you are seeing triangles upside down. It's coming through for you and you are exactly where you need to be. Look at the second unicorn. What is with the unicorns for you today? Look at that, Gemini. So pay attention to the unicorns. So again, you're exactly where you need to be. Right now, in this moment, you're exactly where you need to be. Let's pull an angel number for you. Some of you are seeing repeating numbers, angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, past is present, 666. Are you seeing these numbers? I feel that some of you are going to resonate with the number six. I was born in June, right? So some of you might be born in June. Um, maybe the number six is somewhere in your life. Perhaps you're born on the sixth of the month. Um, six might be a lucky number or life path number. So those of you looking for timing, I'm getting six days, six weeks, six months, the sixth of the month and six hours. You reap what you've sown. You're gonna see that you're reaping what you've sown in your career as well. So career, you're gonna see a heightened um, energy there. Balancing, harvest, financing, stabilizing rewards. So you're gonna see a balancing and a rising of everything in all parts of your life here. And there's a stabilizing energy. So everything's gonna come into balance and stabilize. And I do feel this has to do with the Hermit card, but also the Page of Cups. So perhaps this is you um, learning and applying patience in your life, calm in your life, stabilizing, grounding. I love the angel on this card. Okay, so I'm getting beings from outside of this world connecting with you as well. All right, so this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.